Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode 11 of ZOM 100 and I am super excited to go ahead and hop right into this one. Unfortunately, I'm looking at this idiot's face who I hate so very much. So uh, in order to stop staring at his stupid ugly mug, we're gonna just go ahead and hop into the episode. Oh my god, that poor chicken. She said, now's not the time to be humping things. <laughs> Apparently this is a common occurrence. That poor chicken. I swear to god if he's naked. He better not fucking be naked. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, he has on pants at least. I don't know what happened to his shirt, but good lord, dude. Now is definitely not the time. Th then again, is it ever the time? It's never been the time for him to be naked, but he always finds a way. Like, what? Once again, I just don't understand. Your life is miserable. You hate your life. It's so unfair that you got dealt the cards you got dealt. And it sucks. But the only way you could be happy now is if you ruin everybody else's lives. If you bring people down with you. If you're gonna kill yourself, just do it. Just do it. Like, you don't have to bring anybody else with you. Just do it. You're gonna be dead anyway. It's not gonna matter after it's done. You're just gonna be gone, and that's gonna be it. Nobody's gonna care. I don't think I ever want to encounter a person who has placed very high in a fencing competition who is expertly wielding a chainsaw. I feel like that's just a, a situation I'd rather not be in. Okay, so obviously the, the good and right thing to do is try to save these people. But I, I understand their position. They're like, we're all old. We're at the end of our lives. We've lived long lives, man. Like, focus on protecting people who, who you can actually protect. Because trying to save us is kind of just basically a suicide mission. But she's a, a good person. So obviously she's going to do what she can. And any, any other good person would. That's a good attitude to have, obviously. You want to try to give back to the parents who took care of you. But he's so obsessive about it. And I don't think he really understands that his parents just love him and they're glad that he's doing fine and that he's okay. A lot of good parents who raise you properly... They don't like expect you to come back and do all these things for them generally. That's usually not what the goal is. Like, I'm going to have these kids and I'm going to raise them good because, you know, I want to try to benefit and get some kind of perks from, you know, like I, some people say that, but they don't really mean it like that. They're not using you in that way. It's just like, you know, obviously, if your parents have taken care of you and you love them, you're going to want to do that for them anyway. Yeah, it just kind of comes with the territory. Man, you know how many men's story this is right now? 
where they get married with all these hopes of having a family and stuff like that. And then their house just becomes this prison that they refuse to go back to because it's the worst place for them. It's just... It's pretty bad. Why is that anybody else's problem? You married the wrong woman. She sucked. And like, that's it. You made a poor choice. And now it's the world's problem. It's everybody else's fault and problem. And you just can't be happy until somebody else goes down with you. Like, suck it up, you little bitch. <laughs> Make better choices. Oh, fucking gross, dude. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I see some shit like that, especially in this situation, I'm killing on sight. Yeah, I agree. This is worse than the zombies. I would much rather be surrounded by zombies. And it's never, it is never, ever their fault. That, like, out of all the possibilities that could happen with these people, they never come to the conclusion that, you know what, maybe I'm just a worthless fuck up. Maybe it's me. No, it is the world. I have bad luck. I don't do anything wrong. I'm always right, and I'm always the victim. I'm only doing what's right. I'm only doing what's right, guys. I have a right to fucking kill people. I have a right to ruin other people's lives because my life is bad. And I, I don't want to do anything to make my own life better. So it's my right to ruin everybody else's. Yeah, they haven't garnered any sympathy for any of these characters. They all have self-made problems. Like none of none of these people were just put in unfortunate situations, or none of these people were like necessarily dealt a bad hand, so to speak. They all were fuck ups or either, you know, overbearing or had personality problems or made bad decisions. And it's all their fault. Like, usually there are villains like I can sympathize, you know, I can see how somebody came to this point. But no, not a single one of these people has any excuse to be doing what they're doing right now. They're all just worthless pieces of shit that are too too much of a bitch to actually just kill themselves and just get it over with. So they spend their time ruining everybody else's lives instead. Fucking worthless. My boy Kencho dropping the facts. And that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I'm the victim. Everything that happens bad, it all happens to me. It's everybody else's fault but me. I did everything that I could. You didn't do shit. You got into a relationship with a person that you weren't willing to work with or do anything for. You expected her to be a certain type of way and she didn't meet your expectations and you did absolutely nothing about it. You're pathetic. Throw that fucking idiot off the roof. Bro, <laughs> based Kencho. Holy shit, dude. 
Holy shit. Look, man, like I said before, I said before that a lot of dudes realities is, you know, they come home and they got this really messed up home life and they got I did say that. And that does happen to a lot of people. And sometimes they are put in that position because of a series of just really unfortunate shit. You know, they they pick the wrong person or whatever. But in this situation, in this situation, it, it takes two people to maintain a relationship. This dude did nothing for her. She grew to resent him. She married him for a reason. They got married initially for a reason, but he did nothing for her throughout that entire marriage and only cared about himself. And this was the result he got. But it's everybody else's fault, though. It's not his fault. Didn't I say he always finds a reason? Did I not say that there is always 100% a reason for him to get naked? Arguably, it is arguable that he should probably keep his clothes on in this situation. Because while you're naked, all the, the fucking bullshit that's in there, you know, you don't want that like all over your skin. So like you would have a little bit of protection from it, at least with your clothes on. This is, this, this seems really stupid. Why? I don't get it. Do they do they have, like not have a taste for bad guys? What the fuck is going on with the zombies right now? We have watched that. Look, look how fast this spread. There were zombies absolutely decimating people all throughout the city. And now all of a sudden, when it comes to the villains, they're just like, we're going to take our time to eat them or we're just not going to at all. Like, how did he even get away from that situation when he was surrounded like that? It makes no sense. We have the moment where the senile old man has a moment of clarity. <laughs> and now he's pulling everybody together. I disagree. If he was the best hunter in the village, he would have shot him in the head. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that sentiment. Okay, that's all great, but can we kill this dude now? Like, can we like? Take him out. No, she can't do that. Are you serious? There's no way that could happen. How could she be wrong? It's not possible. That's never on the table. Look. I have a lot of problems. My life sucks. Things that are happen. <laughs> there are a million and one reasons why my life could have ended up this way. But one reason I can tell you that it is not and can never be and will never be an option of consideration is that it is my fault. Nope. It's just impossible. It literally can't happen. So he's sacrificing himself because his health is deteriorating so much that he ain't got that much longer to live anyway. So this is one of those sacrifices that definitely makes a lot more sense than a lot of others. 
Because sometimes in some shows, man, the characters, they put themselves in situations and sacrifice themselves for literally no reason. It's just like that you just died for nothing. They made it look all heroic and they gave you some stupid reason that you claimed to have done it, but it was you did it for nothing. Okay, sure. Uh, you know, Akira is a pretty good dude, man. But I feel like people who are capable of, like, extreme and just, like, crazy levels of niceness are the same people that can be capable of completely the opposite. And I really wouldn't mind, just for a moment, to see Akira's kind of fuck it side <laughs> where he's just like all right all bets are off you gotta die like period that's it I, I i just i'd like to see that happen one time huh? all right and there's the episode guys thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it i know um I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm coming off a little mean or something like that in this episode, but like these people are fucking scum. I have no tolerance for people like the people in this show or the people that they're portraying. I'm still enjoying the show. I'm not mad at the show at all. Like, I don't think that the show is bad because of these characters or whatever. I just hate people like this. I hate people who use their their bad lives as an excuse to ruin the lives of others. It's just... They're the worst type of people, you know? It's, it's just... It's a trigger for me. And as you can see, it's working. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one.